Welcome to the enthralling world of Cabaret, a 1972 film that deftly weaves together the complexities of life, love, and self-discovery against the backdrop of 1930s Berlin. Directed by Bob Foss, the movie is a captivating exploration of the intertwining lives of its characters amidst the rising tide of political turmoil. As you journey through the film, you will encounter a rich tapestry of characters, each contributing to the nuanced narrative. From the enigmatic Sally Bowles, portrayed by Lisa Minnelli, to the charismatic MC played by Joel Gray, the cast delivers performances that linger in the memory. Out of the myriad roles, which one resonated with you the most? Whose portrayal left an indelible mark on your cinematic experience? Before we dive into the intricate details, we're curious. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem? We would love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing tidbits about the film. Did you know that Cabaret garnered eight Academy Awards, including Best Director for Bob Foss? The film's distinctive portrayal of the Kit Kat Club and its inhabitants earned it critical acclaim, creating a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. As you ponder your favorite character or recall cherished moments from the film, remember that Cabaret is not just a movie. It's an immersive experience that resonates with audiences across generations. Share your thoughts and memories below, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this cinematic masterpiece. Cabaret, a cinematic gem from 1972, directed by Bob Foss, unfolds against the vibrant backdrop of pre-World War Woman II Berlin. Adapted from the Broadway musical of the same name, which itself drew inspiration from Christopher Isherwood's stories, the film weaves together the lives of an eclectic group of characters navigating love, politics, and the rise of Nazism. The narrative centers on the Kit Kat Club, a decadent cabaret that becomes a microcosm reflecting the societal shifts and tensions of the time. The magnetic Sally Bowles, played by Lisa Minnelli, captures attention with her captivating performances and tumultuous love affair with the reserved Brian Roberts. The film's unique blend of dazzling musical numbers and stark political undertones, masterfully choreographed by Foss, sets it apart. Joel Gray's mesmerizing portrayal of the enigmatic master of ceremonies adds an unforgettable touch, symbolizing the unsettling atmosphere of the era. Cabaret leaves an indelible mark on popular culture, not only for its poignant storytelling, but also for its bold exploration of taboo themes. Foss's directorial brilliance and the stellar performances of the cast elevate Cabaret into a timeless cinematic experience, a powerful commentary on the fragility of human connections in the face of impending darkness. The film's impact resonates far beyond its initial release, cementing its status as a cinematic classic. Lisa Minnelli's iconic portrayal of Sally Bowles in the 1972 film was not only marked by her compelling performance, but also by the meticulous attention to detail in her appearance. Collaborating with her father, director Vincent Minnelli, Lisa crafted Sally's visual aesthetic, drawing inspiration from jazz age icon Louise Brooks in films like Pandora's Box and Diary of a Lost Girl. In an interview, Lisa revealed seeking guidance from her father, who advised against emulating Marlene Dietrich instead urging her to study everything about Louise Brooks. This commitment to authenticity extended beyond the screen. Despite not clinching the Best Picture Oscar, the film secured eight Academy Awards, holding a unique record for the most Oscar wins without claiming the coveted Best Picture accolade. This recognition speaks volumes about the film's impact and enduring legacy. Fast forward to 2007, where the American Film Institute cemented Cabaret's place in cinematic history, ranking it as the 63rd greatest movie of all time. This marked the film's inaugural inclusion on the prestigious list, emphasizing its enduring relevance and cultural significance. From meticulous character design to an unparalleled Oscar record, and a fi acclaim, Cabaret continues to captivate audiences, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of cinematic excellence. Many of the film's interiors were crafted on sound stages in Munich, previously used by the crew of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This behind-the-scenes tidbit sheds light on the practical aspects of Cabaret's production, showcasing the film's resourceful use of available resources. In interviews, Joel Gray disclosed a fascinating dynamic between him and director Bob Foss. Gray believed Foss initially wanted to play the MC character himself, leading to tension when producers insisted on Gray's casting. This behind-the-scenes struggle adds a layer of complexity to the film's creation, providing insight into the director-actor dynamics during cabaret's making. One notable song in the film, Tomorrow Belongs to Me, penned by John Kander and Fred Ebb, 
aimed to evoke German patriotism. Despite being wrongly associated with Nazi sentiments, the songwriters, both Jewish, faced accusations of antisemitism. Interestingly, this song stands out as the only one not performed in the Kit Kat Club, emphasizing its unique role in Cabaret's soundtrack. From repurposing sound stages to the internal conflicts over casting decisions and the controversial genesis of a key song, these aspects contribute to the multifaceted narrative of Cabaret, offering a glimpse into the intricate web of decisions and dynamics that shape the film. Joel Gray's journey with Cabaret extends beyond the 1972 film. In the original 1966 Broadway production, Gray played the MC, earning a Tony Award. His exceptional performance on stage translated to the big screen, where he later clinched an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, a rare feat of winning both a Tony and an Oscar for the same role. To prepare for reprising the MC in the film, Gray delved into extensive research, striving for an authentic German accent. This commitment to linguistic accuracy underscores the dedication and attention to detail that went into bringing the character to life on the cinematic stage. A notable aspect of the film's soundtrack is the song Tomorrow Belongs to Me, initially sung in English. However, for the French and German versions of the film, the song was dubbed in German, adding a layer of authenticity to the narrative. Gray's dual triumph at the Tony and Oscar levels, coupled with his meticulous preparation for the film, highlights the depth and richness of the creative process behind Cabaret. These behind-the-scenes insights contribute to the film's enduring legacy and showcase the commitment to excellence that characterized its making. During the iconic opening number Will Komen in the 1972 film, Joel Gray's MC sets the tone with a line, outside it is windy, but inside it is so hot. Interestingly, this differs from the stage musical, where he mentions the exterior being winter. The switch from winter to windy reflects a practical decision tied to the film's production. The exterior scenes were shot in warm weather, prompting the alteration to maintain coherence. It's a subtle example of how filmmaking choices, even in seemingly minor details, can impact the overall atmosphere and consistency of a cinematic experience. This attention to detail extends beyond the weather-related tweak. Notably, the film's soundtrack features maybe this time a ballad that wasn't originally penned for the movie. Instead, Lisa Minnelli, with support from Bob Foss, convinced John Kander and Fred Ebb to incorporate a song from their existing repertoire. Maybe this time had been previously recorded by Minnelli for her debut album. Foss initially had reservations about the song, but reconsidered, choosing to stage it in an empty nightclub. The decision to embrace an existing piece rather than create a new one adds an intriguing layer to the film's musical landscape, showcasing the collaborative and adaptive nature of the creative process. These nuanced choices in song selection and dialogue adjustments provide a glimpse into the collaborative dynamics behind the scenes of the 1972 cinematic gem. From adapting to weather conditions during filming to the negotiation of song choices, each decision contributes to the unique tapestry of Cabaret, underscoring the meticulous craftsmanship that went into bringing this timeless narrative to life on the big screen. As the curtains draw to a close on our cinematic journey, I invite you to linger in the echoes of Cabaret's indelible melodies and provocative scenes. Just like a waltz fading into silence, this 1972 masterpiece has woven itself into the tapestry of cultural history. Now it's time for you to take center stage. Reflect on the subtle dance between chaos and beauty, the delicate balance struck between reality and illusion. Cabaret transcends the silver screen, becoming a mirror reflecting the intricacies of our own lives. What resonated with you? Was it the allure of the Kit Kat Club's neon glow or the haunting strains of maybe this time? Perhaps the character's tale stirred memories long forgotten, or maybe it sparked newfound introspection. Your experience is uniquely yours, a personal connection that breathes life into the artistry of Cabri. Share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or the emotions that linger like an encore. Let this be more than a farewell. Let it be an invitation to celebrate the enduring magic of cinema and the stories that stay with us. Thank you for immersing yourself in this cinematic reverie. Your time and thoughts are the final notes in this symphony of reflections, adding depth to the narrative we've explored together. Until our next rendezvous with the silver screen, savor the echoes of Cabaret in your own life soundtrack.